How many of you know what this is? Jacob. Okay. Yeah, this is a vice for clamping things. There's a different type of vice I'd like to talk about tonight, and that is addicting vices, which means become a slave to. So when you're addicted to something, you become a slave to that addiction. Does that make sense? So how does one get into addicting vices? Would anybody like to volunteer? Matt, could you come up and help us? Thank you. Okay. Now, you're addicted to pornography. Can you pull that tie out? No, no you're stuck. What are you looking at? The vice. And is that all you can see, really? Yes. As an addiction, you're now a slave to the addiction. You're stuck. And all you want to look at is that vice. How do we get out of this? How did Alma the Younger get out of this? My name is Tate Stone, and I'm a young man in the Deer Creek Ward. Hi, my name is Benjamin Pello, and I'm a young man in the Deer Creek Ward. I'm Matthew Pello, I'm a young man in the Deer Creek Ward. I'm Nick Forbush, and I'm a young man in the Deer Creek Ward. Um, snowmobiling, is, yeah, it's fun. Uh, I'd love to come up here with my dad. It, it's really fun. When I'm out there playing basketball, it's just uh, adrenaline rush, I guess. I like playing basketball with Ben. He's kind of a pushover. Um, <laughs> nah, he, he's good. We have some good good times out there. Um, just being out in the outdoors, I mean, fishing, that's one of the best things that I like to do, just to catch the fish and release them and hope you catch a bigger one next time. When you're in the powder, you know, you're just carving along, back and forth, across it, that's what's really fun. Bruce's story helped me realize the addiction and the harmfulness that it can do, that it can totally ru ruin relationships in your life. Bruce's story really emulates how how life is and how you can get caught in the vice. It really puts everything in a, in a full perspective of how destroying pornography is. People believe that they can have both like the addiction and live a great life. I mean, looking right at the vice and can't get away. They're trapped and they can't have normal lives because they're addicted. And I don't want to get involved with pornography because I feel like I owe it to my friends, my family my young men's leaders, and especially to myself. I don't want to be worrying about it constantly. I don't want to be feeling guilty, worrying about getting caught. I just, I'd rather, you know, live life and be free, like in the outdoors, you know. The reason I stay away from pornography is because it can get addicted and it's harmful. It ruins relationships. I'm gonna stay away from pornography because I want to have the freedom to to not be trapped in something. I want to have a good relationship with the daughter of God and get married in the temple, um, and pornography can destroy that opportunity. I choose to not participate in pornography and other vices. I have a bright future, I hope, to go to college, go on a mission, and get married in the temple someday, so I'd rather choose not to be in that vice and put myself in a more happier state of mind. Basketball for me is what gives me the like adrenaline and the high um, and I love that so much. I dunked it for the first time in a varsity game recently and it was crazy. It's so amazing. So that's one of the reasons I play basketball because there's no addiction, there's no health issues, there's no pornography, there's, there's nothing that won't make you feel good and pure. There's too many good things in life to give up for addictions like pornography. Too many things.